That excludes Alex. Do either of you have a gun on you? Uh, I, have a, I have a gun, so, yeah. Does Tom Tom have a gun? I had one, not in a mo. Cool. Uh, is your strength 80 or higher? Uh, I don't think so. Let me see. Ooh. <clears throat> let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 60. Cool. You get a card, sir. Uh, Jordan, take six hit points. Sorry. Up and up until fall, you don't go over what you'd normally be at. Yeah. Unwounded. And then, well, Freddy. Uh, he he just keeps feeling you up like he's Donald Trump or something. <laughs> I will spit my fucking drink up in the cup when you say that. Bomb bomb bomb. There's the bottom and using other. Come on, I'm twenty. Well, is the willpower on the same sheet as the spells are? No. That would be a handy thing that's, there. No, that's why I said it's impossible. Ah. You could almost have mini buttons on every spell for making yeah. checks if, if, if that's possible. Um, yeah, um, so you want willpower on every spell? So, in other words, times yeah, one, times you two. Want yeah. A big list of spells and you're trying to make a willpower check because we do yeah. so many. You know, you, you could roll like five times the will. Get it and then fail the one spell, and then you've got to go back to more and again. If you were, if you wanted to be really, really cool on the willpower thing, you could have it where if you're trying, like, if you mash the times three willpower button on the spell thing, not on the main sheet. That's yeah, that's why I want to do it. Yeah. Spell thing, then, you, like, for that individual spell, if you mash the times three and you get it, then it rolls the spell. Ah, yeah. But if you don't, that would be rather it, difficult. You know, Ah, okay, well, I, I, I didn't know because it's like yes, no stuff, yes, no gates. Yeah, I know. I, I can try, but the easiest would be to just put the buttons. Hey. Wow. Another crit? Hold on, man. Does let me make sure there's no extra shit you can get. Regeneration of hit points, there, Mister. I got another crit. Well, I'm at full now, so doesn't really matter. Nice. No, but he may get a spell out. Regenerate hit points other? No, it only goes to regenerate. Oh, wait. No, it only goes to regenerate hit points or magic points self. So. Yeah, which you already got. Yeah. Yeah, I'll cool. tell you. I'll tell you if it looks that. Nice. So, uh, yeah. Uh, fortunately for you guys, Alex Kinley <clears throat> knows the exact way out of here. Yay. He pretty much uh, takes you guys through a very uh, small. Oh. He takes you through a small maze uh, up a slope, uh, goes over to a door, moves the door, goes into some kind of basement thing that has a door here and a door on the other side. And then you guys go up some stairs uh, instead. Hey, one quick thing. Huh? This. This. Yeah. They're not open until bloody six. So I've got to wait an hour or just order somewhere else. Up to you. I'm I'm neutral. What do you we got in mind? Order that type of food. Okay. But if we order from somewhere on just eat, we can probably get we could get it by easily six. So okay. Yeah, cool. What, wherever you think, dude. You know you know what kind of food to order me. Mild, not chicken, not just only veg. Oh. And some yeah, garlic knife. Yeah, food. yeah. Would you like a radish? I can't be bothered to open at five, like most places do. Yeah. So, you guys then uh, uh, go back up into the dark, gritty streets. It's like 11 p.m. A thin rain comes uh, down. You're surrounded by city. Yeah. Yes. Statue yes. of Batman. Yes, we are. Gotham. I kissed the ground. Civilization <laughs> at last. Cut two. It shows uh, 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 Mr. Biggles. So, you think he's dead? <laughs> and the crewmen are like, I think we should go back home. 
right. <laughs> they, they, they take uh, the dwarves load on the cask and they're like, he's gone to visit different realms through a magic gate. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Because they <laughs> are trying to make up some shit. And M Mr. Biggle's like, of course he has. He does that kind of thing all the time. And the guards are like, oh, thank God he bought that huge whopper of a lie we gave him. And... <laughs> Right, they load on your cask of stuff. The dwarves say, humans can't drink this, except your king, apparently, who will be back shortly. And they're like, ah, of course he will. He, he's out, and he can't be killed. And then they fly away. I don't, think, I, 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 don't hmm? I don't think I've ever been to Gotham. Really? We must have. Let me check. We, yeah. That's where the slice is from. Oh, is that, oh, okay, I'm sorry. My apologies. I didn't yeah. write that down. It, it can be called by different names, but it gets confusing. Mm -hmm. uh, so how much has often changed? It's dark, gritty, and uh, moving more toward a 1950s movie noir type feel. All right, we need to grab some spices before they disappear. Does they yeah, don't have any money? money. <laughs> Alex Kinley doesn't know what money means. It shows him staring into the distance trying to puzzle out that word. I have... Oh, actually. I have just under $800 from Sherman, Illinois, which may work here, possibly. Quite, no? And, no. <sighs> what Alex, else? Do you have any... Do you have any gold, Alex? Any gold? Uh, yes. Probably if we were back at MMO land. <laughs> he doesn't carry money around. He's not a normal person. It's like those movie stars in the old days who just didn't carry money and their studio would pay for everything. But in this case, you guys are the studio. <laughs> All right. Do we want to just go back to Clems and go back to MMO land? Yeah, yeah. Uh, once we're there, I want to try one thing real quick. Where does Clem keep his hot towels? Uh, he's got one of these. Uh, it, it's about the size of a cigar humidor, and apparently they just cook away in there. It's full of hot towels. I want to take one. Okay. Sit down in the chair. Think about MMO land and go in there and put the towel over my head. Okay. You sitting there getting slowly scalded with a hot I towel. I take the towel off my head. Am I so I'm like, Addy, what can I do you for? Uh, I'm, giving, I'm giving you a card for experimentation, though, just in case the towels are magical. That is fucking brilliant. You are you are doing good things. Clem, how do you take us to different places? Shave? He says. No, just MMO land, please. I sit back in the chair. Hot towel? Yes, hot towel. Where are you going back to? MMO land. Right. Um, and he says, you too? Yes. You too? Yeah. Right, cut two. You're all back in MMO land. Clem takes off the hot towels and stuff off of your things and offers you a shave as he does every time. In fact, you guys have gotten so used to Clem that if he ever said, how's the weather, you would probably lose sanity. <laughs> I mean, every time, same way, same voice tonality, same inflection, everything. Mm. All right. Oh, well, since we're in no rush or anything, I want to just try. Yes, you are, because they're like, Please move out of there. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They've yeah, got right. blisters and shit pointing at you guys. are like, come on. Come on, Mr. Kinley. Please bring Mr. Kinley. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you guys get out of there. They take you back to the drinking palace, and you guys are going to essentially spend about two weeks here watching Alex drink, fuck, and eat. And you guys can do all those things, too, because... Uh, this is a place of promiscuous, happy sex because they're looking to build up the number of humans they have, and the less that they're all related to each other, the less da -da 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 type thing you get. So 
you guys have plenty of offers here. Believe me. In fact, if you want to roll seduction, that you know people can even be impressed. But otherwise, they just want your seed because they're trying to build a fucking huge ass tribe of humans and shit. Mm. Yeah. Um, baby factory. Plus, pregnancy doesn't take long. Within a month and shit, you're done. Alex, uh, can can you um commandeer some gold so that we can grab some spices from Gotham? Alex is one of the uh, aides that they always keep around Alex to keep him from burning down or doing anything horrible. We have something different because the gold that we've got, we don't have much because he's taken it all and we need some to build things. We have something new for him. Okay, what? Furs and pelts. He smiles and nods. Uh, <laughs> I just like the sight. Yeah. We have plenty of those as well. Please come with me. I'll show you the the uh, what we have. Tom, Tom, do you think uh, the people in Apocalypse Land world? Would be interested in first. Give me a business role there, sir. Dum dum. You are now well, building up those vital business skills for the role that you are choosing. You may I'm have help a him. businessman. Sure, you can roll support. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> <So. clears throat> no. Oh. There is no telling, he says. I have no goddamn idea. Wish I did. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? You may build up business skills. You just gotta keep hitting it. Plug away. <clears throat> well, we yeah, can always uh, else. Um, from my time in Gothic, what? Do they have um, furs and pelts and leathers over there plenty or not? Everybody, almost everybody wears uh, uh, like some sort of lizard leather. Um, now, you're, you're talking gothic post-apocalypse where, uh, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, you might be able to get something there. Can I assess the quality of their leathers versus the ones in gothic? They've never paid that much attention to the leathers before in Gothic. They worked. Mm. Um, you can give me an appraisal roll to know about the quality of these. Okay. Hey, Bargainman, uh, what do you think about these? And I'll show them to him as well. What are we rolling for? Appraisal. appraisal. This is the how much is shit worth skill. Made it. Of course you did. You're the bargain man. The bargain man can and the bargain man. To make the world go around. According to bargain man, as an <clears throat> example, a bear pelt in uh, modern day currency, like 20, uh, 18, 2020s, whatever currency, would be worth about $1,000. Oh. But. If you were taking somewhere like Gothic, it might be worth a couple of silver. It all depends on where you take it and all that. Now, the bad thing is, if you were to take a bear pelt to modern day, according to Bargain Man, Bargain Man, give me a law roll roll, a law roll, and also uh, Alex can try a law, or sorry, Freddie can try a law roll if he'd like. Alex Kinley is uh, in mid debauch right now. No. Uh, law, there it is. Cool. Yeah, who knows? So, um, <laughs> there may be other problems. Um, so, yeah. But it, it all depends on where, where you take it and how far away they are from uh, uh, getting pelts and shit in their thing. Like, if you're taking it to a Wild West thing, it might be worth a buck or two each or whatever. In fact, uh, deer pelts that came from bucks used to be worth dollars. Hence, the term buck in uh, mm. yeah. So well, I can go to Gotham, have a look around online, and see if anyone's well. Assuming the internet still exists, don't know how far back it's 
fun. But uh, if it does, perhaps someone's interested in buying uh, furs and pelts. Right. Um, how would you like to check the internet? I. <laughs> you used to have a pretty good phone. I'm going to go to the Wild Wild West, grab my backup laptop that I had stored over there. No problem. You do a bunch of bouncing around. Also, give me an evidence analysis roll just Freddy when you're in the Wild Wild West. The Wild Wild West. The Wild Wild West. Yep, made it. You're thinking that if you ever tried to sell the pelts here in the furry Wild Western, you'd probably get lynched because it looked like you killed a bunch of the people here <laughs> and skinned their asses. Yeah. You go there and pick up your backup computer and go back through Clems without incident. You're back in uh, Gotham, and you discover that apparently the internet is down today. Huh? Good man. 20, um, 20 what? 20. Right. Can I go to the internet cafe and just ask someone? Right. Is you there, go is there even? You go to, uh, actually, uh, are you wanting to take a long bargain, man? Here's 20. Yeah, if he wants to come, I'd love him. Yeah, I'll go with him. To... He would oh, love yeah. nothing better than to go. Uh, no problem. You guys head over to, uh, uh, wait, you haven't been to an internet cafe here before, have you? No. Uh, I have in my very first. Ah, excellent. Okay. You go to where the internet cafe used to be. It seems that it's closed down and been replaced with a place that sells newspapers, sweets, and cigarettes, and booze. I fall down to my knees and scream to the world, No! <laughs> uh. Okay. All right. Bargain Man, it's down to you. Who do we ask about trying to sell leathers and furs? Do I need another role for something, business role? Uh, give me a research role. You go around and begin asking different people and checking in stores and all that. Uh, what is it that you're trying to sell, they ask? Um, we say like the hides and stuff, you know what you mentioned? Yeah, okay. Sure, give me a research role, please. I'll, I'll help him. Okay, roll to support his research. I don't yeah. see uh, Oh, yeah. library. Okay. You've got a plus five on your roll here. Humble. There's no place to sell that shit within the city, he discovers. None at all. He keeps going into like different stores and asking and shows the guy at a candy store. <laughs> no, no. And the kids are like, did he kill Bambi? And he's like, yes, he did. <laughs> and then he laughs evilly. Um, so, yeah, apparently that, that stuff doesn't sell here at all. <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> All right, fine. Why Alex Kinley uh, fuck his way through uh, Kinleyville? He doesn't even yeah. know where he went. Okay, cool. You arrive back at Kinleyville. Uh, Alex is currently uh, on a break because even even uh, his Mister Happy needs some fucking uh, rest and <laughs> relaxation from time to time. He's sitting there in the Hugh Hefner type robe. Uh, someone bring me uh, one of the best chefs we have. They bring in a professional chef, and he says, "Hello, sir. I am pleased to be able to serve you. How may I help?" You are going to become the ambassador to the dwarven people. Ah, he says, <laughs> "Whatever your name was, it is now." Corden Lamsley. <laughs> but uh, but uh, he says. You must go there and cook excellent food with them, with spices, and scream and yell and swear in their faces. I understand. <laughs> Cor Cordon Ramsley. Cordon Lamsley. <laughs> I love Take it. a card. Um, <laughs> oh, man. I 
to finally find that place and they're like, oh, we found somewhere new. And this guy's like, hey, fuck you, I'm called and lovely. And then you'd be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, great. Fortunately, this guy does know about spices and shit. And eventually, your airship arrives, and they they're like, "So we need to take him to the dwarfs." Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You, are you guys going, or are you going, doing something else now? Uh, keep the party together. Yeah, I'll go along. Okay, they they after a couple of days of restocking the ship, uh, and getting all and changing out the gas and stuff like that. Because uh, farter gas is a big deal, and unfortunately, to collect it, they have to get people with uh, tubes that have uh, uh, hoses on them to go ram those up the asses of farters and stuff. It is one of the worst jobs here. The people who do it, not too happy. The farters, once they've taken the gas, just kind of crawl around and make whimpering noises because they can't fly around anymore. <sighs> nice. Anyway. Nice. That's buried ramming a tube up something's ass so you can get what it's got. They then uh, fly you back there. The dwarves are gobsmacked that you have returned. They uh, sing songs about you. Uh, a couple more days of mandatory feasting go by. Where Cordon Lamsley attempts to uh, cook some stuff in order to showcase the spices, which you guys have no source of getting that you have figured out. Because you have no money for the zone you're buying them in. And the dwarves are absolutely gobsmacked at all the, the multitudes of tastes and texture and stuff that it gives the food. And they order large amounts of stuff. They promise great riches and stuff. Uh, dwarven made uh, uh, armor and weapons and things. And you guys have no source for spices. And you realize at this point, you are fucked. <laughs> No, 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 no. We'll find, spi we'll find spices. Sure. Don't worry. Great. So, um, yeah, they want them sooner rather than later because... I think I know, you know this guy with really blue eyes. He might be able to help. Okay. <laughs> blue? Everybody stops what they're doing and looks at you. Blue? What? Isn't that a uh, reference to... Something else? They think it's a reference to something else, and yeah. they're like, "Blue is bad." Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was referring to the movie. Oh yeah, I I was imagining like the the spices like curtain and uh, thyme and melange and you know, just have it have it in a spacious land. Yeah, but um, no problem. You get that all set up. Uh, they hope to uh, see the uh, naughty uh, shamrock uh, soon. They don't realize that it could be months until they're able to have another good meal. Oh, so, no, 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 the, the, the chef stays with them. Oh, the chef does, but yeah. the only spices that you've got are uh, in in the uh, backpack of Tom Tom, and he has a limited small sample backpack. Oh, yeah. That's someone, it. someone needs to know how to grow spices quick. Well, why don't we just go to Gothic and the Wild Wild West, see if they have any, and get some. Okay, Freddy, I'm leaving you in charge of this. This is yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I need money to do this. Okay, well, <laughs> we can try and get some gold from Kindyville. And what about the exploration, says Mr. Biggles. That's true. We should continue with that and then worry about the spices later. Do we have any money stash at the uh, Australian <laughs> Embassy? In fact, I think it's a good idea that we kind of make the dwarves wait a dwarves wait a bit. That way, we make it like more, you know, anticipation makes the saliva more happen in your mouth. Cordon, Cordon Lamsley goes. Are you insane? I need to cook now. We've got to get it going. I'll tell you what. Leave me the the entire sample backpack. I'll use that to keep them sweet because otherwise. They may wage war on us to get the spices if we don't deliver them in time. Uh, I mean, that's crazy stuff. I get what they like. Okay, we'll give them the backpack. <laughs> All right, right. Uh, mark off your backpack of spices there, Tom. Tom, I'll get you more, Tom. It stays with Cordon Lamsley, who yells and screams at the dwarven cooks. 
<laughs> uh, roughly how long will that last us? Not long um, enough. Go get me my spices, yells Cordon Lamsley, following orders. Uh, <laughs> Love it. <laughs> he says, uh, okay. Your spices are so slow, I should be serving escargot. <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> Funny how, like a clown? Do I amuse you? Am I here to make you laugh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Mm. All right, Alex. Well, we can get the spices, probably. Yes. But if you want to explore, fine. Doom. 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 What? I mean, I, the <laughs> Wild Wild West probably has some. Probably. If you had money for there. I had $99. It's not mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're about the uh, Australian embassy. Well, <laughs> the, the problem is that a lot of spices that the dwarves are now developing a taste for don't grow in climates like California. They grow in climates like India and stuff like that um, because they pretty much just took spices and getting them in modern day, you can buy wild, wild spices from all over the world in modern day. Unfortunately, in those time periods, they kind of have what they have locally, so very limited selection. Maybe enough to hold them off from overrunning the human kingdom with a bunch of dwarves yelling spice, because apparently these guys are trying, Alex, to start a fucking spice war. Time to call the spice cartel. Well, what, what, you know, what can you expect? <laughs> what about um, Gothic? What kind of spices do they have? Uh, gothic post-apocalypse? Yes. Uh, well, you know, the problem with living in a post-apocalyptic world is you know, okay. there's a lot of trade routes that, you know. <sighs> Alex, do you know any other modern-ish <laughs> places? Back. <laughs> uh, the Any other modernist places? Yes. For what? You know, like a modern place that we can go to besides Gotham, because that place is not the same anymore. Yeah, well, the, the, a lot of these places are changing. Mm. So. All right. Hmm. I'm trying to think. We need to find someone. No. Well, yes. Tom, do you know how to grow spices by any chance? No, right. Go oh, dappy. I I don't know. Uh, grow spice skill. <laughs> <laughs> Agriculture, maybe? I don't know. The problem with growing your own spices is that takes what we call time. And I'm not talking yeah. about the spice time, but I'm talking about time you don't have because the dwarves don't want spices. They want spices right the fuck now. And they're willing to pay for them. And if they don't get them, God knows what kind of horrible... I mean, they're really into it. Let's get some gold from the dwarves. We'll bring some to deliver the spices. Oh, they're not they're not selling gold. They're selling worked dwarven mail, uh, armor, arms, uh, clever dwarven toys made from metal. They like their gold. They like it a lot. Okay. They want to keep their gold. <sighs> they like to pile up all the gold they can into one room and just fucking whack off, apparently. <laughs> Some sort of dwarven breeding. Oh. What about Burlington? You've actually eaten at Burlington, and uh, I think they they have salt, pepper, and gravy, which isn't really a spice, strictly speaking, but it's a new kind of bland, a 1950s America bland. I got a training time car. Would I be able to uh, do that just to see about uh, spices? Playing uh, spices? 
With the training time card? Read the yeah. training time card. It says take a check in any normal skill. Note that this excludes any special skills, spell. Oh, you're uh, you can get a check in what? Uh, it says in any normal skill. Right. Which skill were you wanting a check in? Uh, spice hops. <laughs> spice hops. <laughs> uh, you could you could get a check in gardening. You could get a check in business, which would probably be fucking helpful for you because I'll do the business. Okay. Yeah, appraisal, bargain. There, it's a lot of skills involved in business. It's not just show up and go. I've got prices. I mean, you can, but for what you guys are trying to do, you move past the the. We have some shit. Let's barter it. You're wanting to set up trade lines and shit like that, and then you're looking at business appraisal bargain accounting um growing spices spice lore cooking to showcase them all kinds of skills go into it it's not just a simple i got a backpack full of shit what do you give me because if you did that that's fine you could do that but then you got a one-time trade what kind of drinks do they have in um Burlington? They have uh, a few different alcohols, uh, you know, that Alex usually tries to finish off on a basis when he's there. It's not an expensive yeah. drink amount, though. Okay. Mm. Did, they did, did they have um, Coke in the 50s? Are you talking cocaine or Coca-Cola? They had both. In the same thing. Oh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Preferably without, but the drink without the cocaine. You want the Coke without the Coke? Yeah. Coke with extra Coke. Okay. I'm not going to be responsible for a cocaine addiction epidemic. That's a shame. <laughs> that would have been really good. We got all the dwarfs just high on fucking... Okay, and then <laughs> hey, it worked for the British Empire with China. They still love that opium. Look, I'm 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 a businessman, but I'm an honest and good businessman. Yeah, you would yeah. definitely not gain any. Uh, you would definitely not gain any um, uh, sandy points for having a huge drug e epidemic and being the. Start I mean, of exactly. I'm not going to do that. I mean, I'm just saying, if I, if we sell them the size of spices, like Coca-Cola, chocolate maybe, um, burgers or stuff like that, yeah. maybe they'll be... Is, is back, well, you got to also remember that Burlington is normally rated and used by the MMO people. Oh, good point, actually. Yeah, as far as the cocaine, they stopped that back around 1930-ish or so. Oh, good, okay. So Alex Kinley is always bitching that Coke doesn't taste right whenever he is stuck drinking it. He's like, it doesn't taste right, and I can't, I can still feel my gums. The fuck? No, that's just boring. That's so boring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so essentially, you guys have uh, managed to uh, take a really good thing and back yourselves into a corner, and now you're doomed. So if we don't supply them with more spices, they're basically going to declare war on Kinderville. There is right. a possibility. They would be really bloody stupid if they did. Yes, I'm not saying they're going to, but... Let's put it this way. You would have, uh, at, at, at minimum, you'll have an uphill battle because they're going to not be convinced that you guys can actually do what you said, which was to open trade lines with them, which would be correct. You can't. because yeah, you, you weren't looking to trade in spices. They were. They brought yeah, it up They brought it up three are. or four times when you were AFK. Well, so. it's all right. We're just going to get a uh, self-source sufficient. Oh, yes. If you can do that, then, yeah, that would be sexy. These dwarfs better be worth it. Uh, depends on what you're after. If you want armor and weapons, which I would like to point out, uh, uh, it wouldn't be great for you guys. I mean, yeah, armor, weapons, maybe get some good yeah, quality non magic ship. Yeah, Kinleyville. They could use armor and weapons. Yes, this would make them much more effective fighting force. 
crossbows and shit. They have like great the repeaters way, uh, and stuff. I'm, I've got a camaraderie card, Alex. I'm keeping it just for you, buddy. And then oh, you, D4 sign at the ex <laughs> at the end of the minute. Thank you so much. <laughs> Please don't lose it. Uh, so let's hope we don't get a, a card that makes us lose. Oh. It. Mm. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, are you okay, guys going? Um, what are you guys wanting okay. to do? Because uh, you've got multiple things pulling at you now, which yeah. is what happens in this fucking campaign. I'm going to check Cotham to see if Spice is still even exist there. Because we didn't check if there's actually Spice is still there. But you don't have any Gotham money. Do we, well, wait. Yeah, you, but I just want... you got a little bit. That's do right. Do they have any gold at Kinsville? For now, let's just try. They got pelts. They 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 have to build back. A, they they sent out Hornsby to go find more gold because you sucked up a lot of gold. It takes a lot a lot of mining to get gold and shit. It's not like we produce fifty coins a day. No no, they have to dig out a hillside and then put it through machines and shit like that. Yeah, it's not super fast. Plus, yeah, gold is not a huge priority, and they need it for their own shit because they're using. Uh, gold in their own stuff as well. Uh, so they have pelts for you. They have a lot of pelts because they've been killing shit to eat, killing farters to uh, make gas things, all kinds of stuff. Okay, well, we can sell the pelts if we're desperate for money in post-apocalyptic Gothic. It's not going to be a lot, but it's something. There, you're thinking there's got to be better places that you can sell them. I... I, I is everybody? I look at Alex. Alex, I haven't been. Around. I haven't been to that many places. What a better place to to sell pelts and furs and leather and stuff like that. Well, I, I would probably say the the um the Western lands would be better. No, no, don't, no. They will kill you for basically murdering their own people. No, no, not not the furry land. The west, the western, the one with all the the women in it. That's freezing cold. Pelts are better. But I've never I, been there. I, but, okay. Last time we were there, I don't think they had. I don't think there was really anyone left there. It seemed kind of deserted. Um, Santa's could. I don't know. <laughs> Joe Santa giving a, here, Jimmy. We couldn't get you a tricycle, but here's a deer pelt. I, I've not been to this Arctic female only land. But if you think it then was, sure. It was the one off of Burlington where you have to go through the um the Oh easy place. You mean Canada? Oh yeah, some people say it no it's Canada, yeah. Oh, sure. We can try that. Bargain man's not giving you any input. The bargain man can. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I I like that the problem that you've got to deal with is not how fast can you kill shit, but where in the fuck can we get spices with no goddamn money and a bunch of <laughs> That's fucked up. We don't have money at the Australian Embassy, do we? Um. Well, actually, none of you have money at the Australian Embassy because you are not the ambassador. So, no. Uh, you can I only have... $99. Yeah. I have a little bit, it's not a lot. Um, well, Canada seems like a nice place to try. If you want to try and go and trade the pelts for something there, it's up to you. I, I don't know. It... I've never been there before, so. Well, I have, but not actually. In any town, we kind of went through there quickly before. And the thing is, yeah, I don't think, as far as I know, they don't have a working claim because we had to go the, the long way to there last time. And yeah, it, it's it's rough. It's rough. Yeah, people could die. I know, I tried, I don't know if it's worth it just for... especially carrying a shitload of pelts. Yeah, yeah, it's, you have to go through like death defying like ravines and shit, not really ideal. All right then. 
Squat that idea. Any mm -hmm. other zones you've been to? Yeah. Hey. Mm -hmm. huh. What about that ferry western place? On the key term of ferry. Yeah, that's the one you don't want to sell them. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that John's consulting his notes and shit. This is a good deal. This could be interesting. Go on. <laughs> What about Route 66? Right. You can get anything on Route 66. I go to my... Um, Alex just suddenly turns and begins walking away. Me, <laughs> All right, I'm going to go with him. Wait, do we need the pelts? Pretty good. Should we take the pelts with us? Plus, I get to take you to somewhere new for you guys. Um, I go to my disguise kit, Logan. I get... he, he goes in... Uh, they, they've got a uh, house that... People normally don't live in, but whenever PCs come to visit, they put you up in it. Uh, you send for your disguise kit because they, they keep that somewhere else. Uh, but they bring in uh, two guys carried in like the Ark of the Covenant from the Indiana Jones movie. And then it's grown in size just because they've added to it for you. I get out the three uh, outfits that me and Chris and Yana, I believe, were wearing. Are they big rabbit outfits? No. Oh, God. They are, God. Um, they are Roman outfits. What, the togas and stuff? Yep. I have one. Oh, halfway in. Yay. Let's go. Have you been there yet? I have. No, but I've, I've been told about it. Oh, wow. Told them that. Wow. Okay. Tom Tom is uh, getting around. Well, good. Good, Alex. That's right. Put this toga on. Uh, uh, that, okay. Take out my chalk logan. I draw the doorway as I was instructed. All right. And then I I uh, I lead them in the verse we must say in order to. All I need is uh, just for for the party. I need one person, probably Alex, to make a simple roll in Latin at full. Yeah. Correctly <laughs> say this hard to say shit. Uh, both of you guys can attempt oh, your. He goes, da -da, da -da, <laughs> and uh, nothing happens. He goes, hmm, this one, this well, door is obviously. Well, I was gonna say you could just draw a different door and try again. Okay. I got yeah, I got the purple chalk. I just gotta figure out. Yeah. I try a different door. Oh, ah. No problem. Each chalk you discover at this point is good for five attempts, and then you'll have to pick up a new chalk. Or if you use up all your chalk, then you get to go on the boat. Basically, my Latin. Nice. Uh, both of you guys can attempt to uh, uh, do your Latin to do the sing along with Alex Kinley. If you don't make it, then you're okay. If you fumble, you're okay. Basically, you're trying for a check in Latin. Is that uh, uh, linguistics that we're rolling under? Uh, no, Latin. Latin language. It's a new Latin scale. All right. So it's. Oh, uh, uh, I already did one. Do you want me to do another one? Or? Uh, did, oh, you tried and failed? No problem. Yeah. Then just need one from uh, Tom Tom. Yep. All good. So you guys uh, uh, mutter along with Alex, and then you go through. Uh, are you bringing some furs and shit with you then? Yeah, or? yeah. So me, we're oh, okay. Can we can we get like a wheelbarrow or something? Yeah, get us uh, some carts. Some what? Shit, carts. <laughs> carts. Carts. Yeah. Uh, cart won't fit through the door, oh, but wheelbarrow. Calls. Right. They bring you a uh, couple wheelbarrows. No problem. Uh, you guys uh, then load them up with some furs, uh, and you push them through. And the one person who has not been there before, Freddie, gets new cards. Yeah. Which, yeah, the... I can't wait to see what happens when somebody actually can get all the cards. Freddie, you pick up the King of Cups. Page of Cups. Congratulations. Oh. Uh, you've been here, Freddy. You're new here. This is a basically a big meeting, meeting place of doors. So um, there's a good chance we could probably trade the pelts for something useful to then trade for spices. Also, this place is a fountain of knowledge. So if you are wanting to know, say a zone that has like, let's say there's a spice zone that's everywhere you go is just spice. These guys will know about it and probably be able to tell you where to get to get there. So don't go to crazy 
trading the furs too early for something valuable because the inf information or direction could be even more valuable. That being said, this is for you. This is on you guys. I'm I'm taking a stand back here. This is you guys in charge now. For this. I'm going to go fill up my hot water bottle, and the food's going to be All right. oh, nice. Okay, so you guys go push. Uh, when when it comes here, if you could just hand me mine and put it. If you could just hand me my food when it comes, yeah. Then put it in my mouth and help me chew. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, you guys uh, go there with your uh, stuff inside of the doorway. First thing you notice is there's a big fucking heavily scarred guy on the left who's sitting there and he's got a fucking wicked looking club and he just looks like he is a fucking bruiser. He's wearing Kerboli armor, which is the oil leather armor. He looks at your wheelbarrows full of uh, uh, leathers and shit and he just, he gives you a look. You guys can roll empathy. <clears throat> Nice. You guys both get a check in empathy if you don't already have one. He looks at you like uh you he looks at you like the guy who just wheeled in a bunch of uh, uh cell phones to a cell phone manufacturing place. Like, okay, <laughs> great. And uh to your right is a uh lady with a hammered iron collar about her neck. She is obviously a simply dressed slave. Um Everybody's dressed in like togas and stuff, or just the one piece uh, shirt, pants type thing, you know, like they do in the Roman times. Uh, only the rich people do the wound around uh, linen strip. And the bouncer has like the, I can move and fight in this because I bash people over the head. Um, you get your hands and feet washed by the slave and a couple of fountains with water swirling through. No, no, I refuse. I'm like, no. I'm all right. Thank the you. bodyguard goes, uh, it's a custom here, sir. We have many customs at this house, the house of Vespillo, that are best followed. Can you just just sprinkle a little water and then let that go? Okay. So you're at the custom of Vespillo, sir. Best to let her just do her thing. Oh. Uh, It'll be okay, mm, Freddy. Mm, it's not a huge amount of water. Mm. He's like, I'll be gentle, sir. Besides, your feet won't stink. Uh, uh, okay, um, hmm. All you right, can just, do it. Just do it very slowly, and, um, Vargaman, uh, can you, like, tell me a story? Tell, tell me, uh, what, what was it like back in the days? Well, we started way back in history with that rock MCA and me, Mike D. I had a little pony named Paul Revere. Me and my horsey and a quart of beer. Right across the land, kicking up sand. <laughs> you digging it? Start. Give me a sing roll, by the way. <laughs> hey, new check and new skill. And that was amazing. That, I will uh, also, yeah, in addition to that, so try to sing. I did. Nice. Give me a new skill. It's at learn. So if you haven't got to check and learn already, this is your big opportunity. Rapping. Yeah. I did it. God damn. All right. Wow. You're checking that. The bodyguard looks impressed. He, he gives you a couple of uh, small pieces of silver. Well done. He says. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, so I'm just like listening to him, trying to not think about the impending doom that's about to touch my feet. No problem. Yeah, with his successful rapping skill, he has managed to keep you completely distracted. Um, yeah, you 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 get washed off and stuff. No worries. Um, geez, totally baffled at this. Uh, you go further in, and you get to meet a guy who looks like he's a muscular dude black curly hair, a nose that could be the uh, cutter on an ice ship, uh, big nose. And um, let's see, he has behind him um, a uh, place for all the keys and stuff. 
to his uh, right or left. That's left. To his left uh, is uh, some stairs up. To his right are two different tunnels. And he says, ah, new guests for the House of Best Pillow. He says, what is in the wheelbarrows? Well, we have some skins and some furs that we would like to offer for sale for any interested parties. Uh, okay. Um, you won't get much for those here. Uh, you are merchants? Well, if you buy from us here, they're worth much, much more in other areas. Yes, but... Uh, you know, really? I'm not sure if you understand the economy here, uh, for about 20 silvers, you can get a sit down orgy for 30 people. That's why normally travelers such as yourself bring high end gifts of alcohol here in order to pay for their stay. Mm. Let me go through the since you have somebody new here. Let me go through uh, the rules and such so that he knows. Uh, thank you for saying the prayers to the patron god of the dwelling to come here. He says, he begins talking to uh, uh, Freddy and he says, um, where are the rules? Rules, there they are, the rules. He says, uh, you may not, not trade modern devices, materials, or even ideas with the local. This is a place for eating, drinking, sleeping, talking, and fucking. Uh, if your modern device or material somehow gets stolen or falls into the hands of the locals, some of which who are light-fingered, you are warned, it is the fault of the person who brought them in. If you can't keep it safe, leave it at home. Uh, these things can get you banned. If you are banned, then you will be ejected from the house of this pillow uh, forever. And anybody with you will be asked to leave at that time, but they may return at another time when they are no longer with you. Uh, precious metals may be used to pay for things. Silver is preferred. It is expected that you dress appropriately and garb such as you are while here. Laundry service and such are free if you're staying at minimum for several hours. Abuse of the staff or slaves will get you banned. If you're unhappy about the performances, let a member of staff know they will be whipped. Um, if you uh, wish to discuss uh, things with other travelers such as yourself, the sinister passage to the bar is what will take you there. The Dexter passage will take you to the locals. Um, Let's see, if you fight anybody, whether they initiated it or you did, you are gone. Do you have any questions? He looks at Freddy, who has never been briefed before. Uh, I'm just like, trying to clue in my head, trying to like, okay, so passage, uh, so, okay. Uh, what was the passage? The sinister passage? And the other passage was what? Extra passage goes to the locals. Uh, Dexter, okay. goes to the uh, other travelers such as yourself. They, they, they know the way. I do not know if you, the locals, just so you're aware, the locals would give you something for them, but considering how much things cost in metals in your world, it would not be a good trade for you. If you have other things to sell, I'd be happy to advise you on whether I think they would sell well or not. And as far as the travelers, I would be very surprised if any of them were to even glance at these things. Um, I was told about a fountain of knowledge. What is this about? He looks totally baffled. Fountain of knowledge? I said it's like a fountain of knowledge. <laughs> this place. Oh. <laughs> you went to... Never ah, mind. You've <laughs> given him a metaphor. I see. Yes. <laughs> Never mind. No, that's all. Thank you. Very well. If you ever wish to know if something will sell here, I can be happy to advise you. Uh, that lot, all they care about is weapons and things like that. Do you by chance sell um, spices here? We have. 
a little bit of salt. Salt is very useful. In fact, it's where you get your uh, word salary. I see. Sometimes our soldiers are paid in small amounts of salt. <clears throat> but no, um, but no pepper or cumin or paprika or anything. He just looks baffled at you. He says, the Roman Empire stretches throughout the world. Of course, there are various spices, uh, but pepper. Pepper is the king of the spices. Mm. All right. I look at Tom Tom. Yeah, we might be able to sell some to the locals, but if you I wish, to, if you wish to sell uh, things, uh, the they're always demanding new, better weapons and such from these travelers. They fight a lot, but not in here. Remember those words. Remember those oh. words. No. I hold out the normal sword that I got from MMO Land. How much? Could I potentially get for this? Yeah. He says, um, it's, uh, uh, I, you can go ask them. I, I see. Okay. They like special things. They like interesting things. Anybody can get a normal, this was forged by somebody with not much skill. They can get this sort of thing. Hmm. Tom, Tom, any ideas? I guess it's about as good as mine. I mean, we have some people in here that I've met the last time I was here might be able to help us out trying to uh, figure things out. All right, well. And I kind of peer then. around and see if I recognize anybody. <clears throat> no problem. I One of the guys immediately stands up and goes, Alex Kidley, it's Rory Tartbottom, astronaut, brain surgeon, lion tamer, philanthropist extraordinaire. He apparently is great friends with Alex Kinley. Uh, they begin drinking and talking about who knows what. Uh, other people that are here, um, there's a, another guy named Jax. He's a rather nondescript man dressed in new clean clothing, bushy eyebrows, curly hair, like a perm, but it seems natural. Some people have brown skin. Um, there's another guy named uh, Joe. Joe Crater. Uh huh. Uh, he's a 40s average height, but been, been on the heavy side. He has his black hair parted in the middle. Uh, Jordash the Unwise is here. He has uh, real hands and metal fingers, cybernetic metal fingers. Okay. Black guy, average height, broad shouldered, fairly. Oh, thank you, Sukum. Yes, look, I have food. Lots of food. Um, and yeah, uh, there's also another guy named LJ. He looks yep. like just normal average dude hanging out, looking a little depressed. Um, I turned to uh, Freddie and I said, that guy LJ over there wanted to sell a boat. Maybe we could try to, uh, work with him or, I mean, there's, there's a couple of guys here that, well, boat's not going to do us no justice, but maybe he would want to. You know, border on some uh, these skins and stuff. I mean, there's a couple people I've seen here before. Uh, the only give me a luck roll there, uh, real quick, uh, Freddie, to not have him right here. It will probably cost you sanity. Uh, that made it lucky. All right, cool. Um, yeah, well, you know these people better than I do, so I'll follow your lead. I go sit with the um, the gentleman with the, the the metal fingers that we were talking to before. Did they, and these guys speak English too? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they also speak Latin because everybody apparently speaks Latin except for you guys. I understand the yeah. words here and there. Jordash, how are you, sir? Hey, how's it going? How was your uh, things that uh, the doc was trying to help you out with your fingers? Did you try that? Uh, kind of nervous to do it, honestly. Yeah, well, Doc's Doc's a pretty good guy, and yeah, yeah, I think it's actually worth it. You know, it's up to you. Yeah, but you know, getting these cyber fingers on took a lot of money. Yeah, 
Well, before I go any further, let me introduce yourself to uh, my friend here, Freddie. Hey, he shakes your hand carefully. I said his there. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. So we, we kind of need some help and uh, maybe some advice. And I'll have my Freddie here uh, to maybe help me explain it. Okay. He seems uh, well, he calls uh, the, for a couple of drinks. Well, see, we're, Get you we're, guys. Trying to, we're trying to sell these leathers and furs and yeah. skins. Um, I that's a, not here. Mm -hmm. I, the locals won't give you shit for them because things are super cheap there. I mean, if you can find something from them you want to buy, but they haven't really got anything good. Well, would you know anybody that could be? We got some dwarves that are coming in. There's because of some spices Wait, and stuff like that. Dwarves, dwarves yeah, yeah. Well, they what they got? Well, you uh, know, we kind of helped them out with some spices, and they're they're demanding. Uh, we we give them more. Okay. Uh, and in return, they'll give us all sorts of weapons and armor and stuff like that. I'd like, very fine crafted. I'd like to see some of that. Uh, 